Hello and welcome to the 20th tutorial on the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at operator precedence. Different operators aka or operators, there's the multiplication operator, there's the minus operator, there's brackets, there's indices etc etc. Basically a lot of the stuff they use are operators have certain precedence over others aka they have higher priority. And we're just going to go to Google and just show you some of the operator precedence and what I mean by higher priority is you might type in, let's say, a little formula, mathematical formula, and you might look at it and assume it does it from left to right, whereas it doesn't, it will do based on operator precedence. So if there's an operator at the right that has higher precedence than the ones on the left, then you will do that operation first, and that does affect the result in pretty much every situation. So that's something to bear in mind, and the way to get over this by using brackets, that's in a mathematical sense. But let's just show you the operator precedent. So, uh, operator precedent, C++. Uh, this, this link is what we sort of want. Yep, yeah, this is great. So yeah, this is just got a simple table and it just shows you which operators have higher precedence. So the scope resolution, aka the colon colon, when you're accessing stuff like namespace has the highest precedence. Then after that is stuff like brackets. There is plus plus minus minus. There's accessing by reference and through pointer. And what else do we have? But yeah, multiplication and the other one. So yeah, we're just going to deal with these, um, but it's very similar for all the others as well. Look, it says multiplication has a higher precedence than the plus. So what we're going to do is going to open up our project. Let's give you like a really quick example of this. Um, what we're, do. we're actually not going to provide any source code for this simply because it doesn't really need any, any because there's so many operators and we're not obviously going to be doing every single situation because that's pretty much impossible because there could be an infinite number of situations this is more just something that you will want to refer to like an alias or some, some other website so what we're going to do int oh, we'll do float we're going to do float equals five plus six times by two. So if you were to do it from oh forgot to put a variable name. If you were to do it from left to right, you would do five plus six is eleven times by two, which is twenty two. Whereas it will do it in terms of operate precedence of so you would do the multiplication first, so six times two which is twelve plus five which is seventeen. So instead of it being twenty two the result should be seventeen. So let's just see out this F and get result seventeen. But if we were to put brackets on this because that has even higher precedence than the multiplication as you will remember we got the mathematical operators here and we got the brackets right there so that's literally one of the highest precedence now if we run it we get a result of 20 so we can easily get around operator precedence using brackets which is well great because you might not want the oper the general operator precedence I and my group of friends that code, we generally always use operators quite a lot simply because it just helps us to be certain that this piece of code that we want to run first or run last will run in the order that we want to run. Sometimes it can go a little crazy with brackets, try not to do that because it can get a little confusing with a lot of nested brackets. But yeah, that is it literally for this tutorial on operator precedence. If you need more information, just Google it. Or actually, there'll be a link in the description to that web page that we just visited. Plus, you can comment on this video, directly message us via YouTube, or you can email, email us, us, us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. There'll be no source code as I just mentioned. In the next tutorial, we're going to be covering string streams. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.